Hello, today we're going to be working with Be Funky and we're going to learn how to do background replacements. So with that being said, let's get started and show you how to do something new. Um, we're going to go into our photo editor and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload a photo. Today we're going to do one that's pretty simple because I really just want to show you the concept of how it works. So we're going to do upload. We're going to upload a photo from our computer and I'm actually, I have one in mind. And it's fairly a simple photo. Um, what I really want to do is I want to replace this white background with something that just looks a little better and it blends a little better with the picture. So, with that being said, let's get started. We're going to go over to our edit uh, icon over here, which is the second one down. And we're going to go down until we see this cutout under essentials. It looks like a pair of scissors. So we're going to click that. And as you'll see, it says shape selection. And she's kind of an odd shape. We could lasso it. But I would really rather just paint it in because it's going to take less time, I think. So we're going to push our paintbrush. And I'm going to turn the feathering up some because I don't, I don't want a real sharp edge. So we're going to turn it up to about 35. And I'm going to turn my brush size up. Not that big. And I'm just going to start coloring this in. And I basically, I'm not too worried about getting out of the outside the picture. Basically, I just want to get everything that I want in front of the background. So this is a little bit different instead of isolating and coloring in the background on this one you actually color in what you want on the foreground it's a little bit different and it'll look like this white checkers when you when you pull up your um, mouse so don't freak out it's it's the way it's supposed to work Okay, and I'm going to take my brush size down some. A little bit more. A little bit more first. Let me get this one little spot here. And back down. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to erase some of that here because I kind of got outside of this boxes. And I just really want a clean, clean line here. So when I get that done, it looks like I've got most of everything that I want in the foreground. Oh, I erased one. When I get everything done that I want in the foreground, I'm going to go over and push export as a layer. I'm going to do 100% normal and opacity. Push save image. And I'm going to save. Okay, and that adds this to our layers over here. So, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pull up my background. So, I want to upload my background. And I already have one picked out that I want to use. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just pull this over. Oh, that didn't work right. And it's going to allow me to adjust the size of her. And you're going to see some white spots where you got out. Don't worry too much about that right now. Um, we'll work on that in a minute. And the best way I find to do that is change your blend mode. You can even change your opacity probably. But I prefer to change the blend mode. Okay, and change my blend mode. And I'm going to change it to multiply. I can even change it to probably overlay. No, overlay doesn't look good. But just ch check and see which one looks good for what you're trying to do. Each one's going to do a little something different. And you can tell it makes her a little dark, dark, darker in this photo by doing that. But that's okay. Um... We're going to save as an image. Save. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our edit tab and I'm going to crop this down. Because I want her to fit in the photo just like it did in the other. I'm going to crop it down up there. And then I'm going to go back to my levels. So levels are under edit all the way at the bottom. 
I'm going to go back to my levels and I'm going to play with this until it, I get it to where it looks more like I want it to look. And as you can see, you can still see that background back there, but it doesn't really overtake the photo. It brings back the highlights into her face. Uh, it really just did what I wanted it to do. Um, you can set pre presets here to do different things. But, like I said, um, it's really just up to you how you want to do this. I kind of like it about there. So, I'm going to push check, and I'm going to save this image. I'm going to save it to my computer. And there you go. We replaced the background. If you have any questions, please comment on the video and let me know, or jump over on Teach Me to Color on Facebook and post your question there. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.